This is the Three Arts Workshop in the second week of Dialectic. We're thinking about classification of propositions. Before thinking about the kinds of propositions that exist, it's helpful to think about four kinds of non-propositions, four kinds of human utterance which don't propose anything, which don't make any judgment about reality. Commands, questions, exclamations, and performative utterances. The command, get over here, is not a proposition at all. It's somebody telling somebody else to do something. Similarly, a question, are you sure, isn't an indicative statement, like a proposition. It's an inquiry. It's not a proposition. Holy cow! An exclamation gives utterance to somebody's emotional state, but it doesn't render a judgment about anything. It simply emits the inner state of the individual speaking. Performative utterances. I pronounce you husband and wife. This is a declaration which has some kind of real effect in its pronouncement. Similarly, it's not a proposition. There are two kinds of propositions, simple and compound. A simple proposition has one subject and one predicate. A compound proposition has more than two terms. Here's an example of a simple proposition. The mission is a great movie. Here's an example of a compound proposition. If it rains, then the game will be canceled. See how in the simple proposition you have one subject, the mission, and one predicate is a great movie. Here in the compound proposition you have more than two terms. You have rains, then you have game, and will be canceled. You have three elements in this conditional proposition, and you have two terms working in the simple proposition, the mission is a great movie. Simple propositions are also sometimes called categorical propositions. And we say that with every categorical proposition, with every simple proposition, there are two aspects, the matter and the form. The matter of a proposition is the terms of the proposition. So the mission is a great movie has subject term and also a predicate term. The mission is a great movie. Here's another example. The Cat in the Hat is a great book. The Cat in the Hat is the subject term, and the predicate term is great book. In both of these cases, you have two terms being joined by an is. If the matter of a proposition consists in the terms of a proposition, the form consists in the quality and the quantity. What do we mean by that? The quality of the proposition is determined by whether the proposition is affirmative or negative. The quantity is determined by whether it is universal or particular. So, the affirmative negative distinction is determined by the is relationship between the subject term and the predicate term. If we say that x is y, that's an affirmative proposition. If we say that it isn't y, that's a negative. Similarly, the quantity distinction has to do with how much of the x can be said to be y. If all x is y, that's a universal statement. If some x is y, if some x isn't y, that's a particular statement. You see here we have four factors to consider. We have four possibilities. We can have an affirmative universal statement, all x is y a negative universal statement, no x is y, a particular affirmative statement, some x is y, or a particular negative statement, some x is not y. For convenience, we label these with these letters, A, E, I, and O. A, universal affirmative, E, 
universal negative, I particular affirmative, O particular negative. Let's look at compound propositions for a moment. Hypothetical, disjunctive, and conjunctive. Three kinds. Hypothetical. If we do not convince the board now, our cause is done for. The if-then compound proposition is called the hypothetical proposition. If x, then y. Either John is studying or he is playing disc golf. Either x or y. This is the disjunctive compound proposition. You cannot both be Republican and be an anarcho-leftist. You cannot both be X and Y. This is a conjunctive compound proposition. Okay, so the exercise for this week. Simple or compound? If simple, what is the form? If compound, is it hypothetical, disjunctive, or conjunctive? That's what we have to do. Let's look at this first item. Either we evolve our product or we risk obsolescence. So remember that the simple statements, at least at this point in the game, are all going to start with all, no, some, or you might have a some not, right? So here we see either at the start of the sentence. We have a, a choice. So that reminds us of one of the compound proposition types. And particularly, we remember that the either statement is the one which offers us either x or y, but not both, right? And that is the disjunctive proposition. So here we have a compound disjunctive proposition. What about this one? No birds are bugs. Simple or compound? Well, here we can pretty clearly see that we have only two terms, birds and bugs. So we remember that the compound proposition always has more than two terms. It looks like a simple proposition. And we have this word no at the beginning. So let's consider both the quality and the quantity. First, quality. Is this an affirmative or a negative proposition? No birds are bugs. It's a negative proposition. Secondly, talking about the whole class of birds or just part of the class of birds talking about the whole class so we know that it's both universal and negative which proposition is the universal negative it's the e so we have a simple universal negative proposition also known as an e proposition if jennifer is a docetist then she is a heretic so we have three terms at work here, Jennifer, Docetist, and Heretic. It tells us it's a compound, plus we see this if-then structure, and that's very familiar. We remember which of the three? It's the hypothetical proposition. So this is a compound hypothetical, if x, then y. One last one. Some James Bond movies are good. How many terms? Two terms. James Bond movies and the idea of things that are good. So the two tells us that it's simple. Now let's look at quality and quantity. Quality, is this affirmative or negative? Some James Bond movies are good. It's affirmative. What about quantity? Are we talking about the whole class or a part of the class of James Bond movies? Some. Some tells us that it's particular. So here we're looking at an affirmative particular proposition. Which one of the four is that? It's I. A simple particular affirmative proposition. Okay, to wrap it up, all propositions are simple or compound. There are four forms of the simple. A, universal affirmative. E, universal negative. I, particular affirmative. And O, particular negative. And there are three forms of the compound, the hypothetical, the disjunctive, and the conjunctive. So just be ready for the three arts quiz to perform the kind of exercise we just did a moment ago.